Hello and welcome to the circuit Paul Ricard, current home of the French Grand Prix and events dating all the way back to 1906. It's been held at many venues over the years with famous moments from Dijon and Manicor, the feature of many a highlights reel. And let's hope we see more of those in the race today. We have 15 corners here at the circuit Paul Ricard, six to the left and nine to the right. The rain is coming down and making for a slippery racing surface, but luckily there is plenty of runoff available and hopefully we'll be able to avoid bringing out a safety car during today's Grand Prix. Joining us today to oversee all the thrills and spills, it's Anthony Davidson. And it's great to see you. How are you feeling about the race today? And how are the circuit conditions from what you've seen? Well, it's looking a bit cold out there, if I'm honest. These tyres have quite a narrow operating window in terms of the temperatures they need to extract the best grip. So with a cold track surface, it's going to be harder to keep those temperatures up, which will lead to lower grip and maybe more mistakes. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, Alexander Albon, and Vettel, Perez, Sainz, Stroll, and Esteban Ocon, Ricardo, the owner driver, Daniel Kvyat, and Norris, Grosjean, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen, and Pierre Gasly, Giovinazzi, Russell, Latifi, and Nobuharu Matsushita. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Here we go to a very, very wet French Grand Prix. Qualifying was horrendous for myself. I have got to try and go through the field here. I've got to do damage limitation. I need to just try and score some sort of points. Oh, what a great start so far. Oh, everybody's bunched up. I managed to find a way through. There are plenty of spaces here. Everybody's bunching up because of how wet it is. No one wants to risk it too much. It is so wet. Look at this, there's battles going on everywhere. Teammate's not doing too well at the moment. I cannot believe my teammate is dead last. This is not a good performance by Nobuharu. Regardless of the weather, I thought he would have at least be further up the field. I thought with the rain it would have neutralised the pace of everybody else and he'd be able to fight for points, but it had the opposite effect on Nobuharu, he's now at the back. Can he somehow get past the Williams? Can he get up there? Can he get himself into a more respectable position? of the field are tightly bunched up. Everyone's starting to settle down a little bit. Oh, this is a battle. Leclerc versus myself. This is going to be the battle. Can I stay ahead of him? He's my rival at the moment in this career. The top five seem to be pulling ahead a little bit. I'm really not sure who's going to win this race. Oh, Leclerc is trying his best. That was a bit dangerous by myself. Didn't get penalised though. But it is going to be a huge battle against between me and Leclerc. It's here we are in wheel-to-wheel -wheel action. In the rain, 
This is just a fantastic race already between the pair of us. No matter if it's raining, we're fighting for position. He's right up my backside at the moment. I'm really not sure if I can hang on. I really don't think I can do it. I think he's going to beat me. If I'm not careful, he's going to get past me here. I need to get, get it together. I need to calm down and just set some decent laps. Don't have to push it. It is wet. Okay, the front hasn't changed much. At the back of the grid, Nobuharu is still last place. He's not doing well at all. Oh, Nobuharu. You are not giving yourself a great chance here of staying in my team. I'll probably keep him. Again, I'll probably keep... I've had like... I've had one chance so far to keep him or get rid of him. I kept him. This is, there's a chance coming up very soon. I think his contract ends in... Maybe after, I think in a couple of races it ends. I might keep him then, but... I'm definitely not going to keep him at the end of this season. I'll keep him just for this season and then I'll have to just... He can go somewhere else. If somebody else wants him, they can. The Red Bulls, once again, they're so far apart. I don't know what it is with Alpine and Verstappen. Like one of them does well in one race and the other one does terrible. And then the next race... The other one does well. If they were both... Oh, I've gone very wide there and I'm letting the clerk back in. If they both were more consistent, Red Bull would be... They'd be closer to Mercedes in the constructors, that's for sure. But they might even be able to take points off Hamilton. For now, this is the battle on this in this race. Leclerc versus myself. This is for fourth place. I don't think he's going to be able to beat the Mercedes, is he? He's, he's further ahead, further ahead of us, but... Yeah. I don't think he's going to catch the Mercedes. Nobuharu, what, what is even the point in him being on the track? He can't even get past the Williams. And Williams are not a good car this season. Things seem to be settling down a little bit. The rain isn't as heavy. In fact, I can see a dry line. To win this race, I need to time my pit stop perfectly. I don't think I'm going to win, but I think a pit stop could help. And I don't think this tyre is going to do it. I think maybe we should switch. You know what? I'm catching up to Verstappen a little bit, but Leclerc's right behind me. He's not letting me go, is he? This is a battle. See, I've managed to start. I've managed to settle down a little bit, but Leclerc is not letting me go. Verstappen is doing very well ahead of us. I 
Hamilton and Bottas. They're in a league of their own at the moment. And at the back of the grid. What can I even say? Let's just continue with the rest of it. Nobuharu is not going to move anywhere, is he? He's just not doing well. Alban. Can he get past Vettel? I don't think he can, can he? Ahead, Vettel's teammate, Leclerc, is still battling with me. We are trying to get to the front. We're trying to catch up with Verstappen. At the moment, the top three are set in stone. They are way quicker than we are. So I think we need to change our strategy a bit. I think we need to put different tyres on. I think the intermediate might be the way to go. There is a dry line coming up. Leclerc is not letting me go, is he? Vettel and Albon, they are really, they are their number two drivers, aren't they? They really are. Albon's had a couple of good races, so was Vettel, but overall, Leclerc and Verstappen have just been too good. They might need new teammates. Renault and McLaren are having a good battle. We are getting some pit stops though. We've had a couple of people come into the pits. And here is one of them. It's the Mercedes. He has put the intermediates on. And look how racy he is. It's probably the best tire to go in actually. And he's flying through the field. The dry line is perfect now. Obviously it's still wet, but the dry t the dry tyre isn't an option, but the wet tyre, seems that the wet tyre isn't good either, we need the intermediates on. The intermediates need to come on. And we are going into the pits now because this is the tyre, this is going to help us. Can we get a good pit stop, can we get into this race? Everybody else is coming in now. As Hamilton just pulled off a master stroke, he pitted first. Bottas has probably lost some time, hasn't he? Coming into the pit second. Here we come. We're going to have to fight our way through the field again. Quite racy. These tyres actually have a lot of grip. I'm already putting a gap ahead. These tyres are incredible. They are so racy. Come on, let's catch up with the rest of them. There's a battle just ahead of me, and I'm catching them. Oh, this is I, lo I love it. People have still got, they've got, some of them have still got in the pits. Once everybody's been in the pits for their intermediates, the race might settle down a bit, but at the moment it's going to be a bit crazy because we've still got some that are sticking on the wets, and I don't know why they're doing it. The wet tyres are not the tyres to stay on. You need to be on intermediates. Look at that. Another move. 
I've got so much grip. This is absolutely crazy how much grip. I'm honestly I feel more confident than I do on a dry track. It's so strange how much grip I've got. Maybe our car just seems to suit the intermediate tire. This is crazy, we're catching up to the Red Bull now. Mercedes is struggling ahead. Come on, can I catch Verstappen? Come on. I'm getting ever so close to Verstappen now. It looks like the podium is now on. Can we do it? We struggled in the rain. Full wet we struggled on, but on intermediates it seems to just suit us. And now we have a chance. We're catching you. Oh, Bottas is struggling just ahead. I've got so much grip, but am I using all the grip up straight away? While I've got this grip, I'm pushing it, because it's the only way I'm going to be able to beat them. While they're struggling now, go for it. Oh, come on. This has got to be an incredible move now. Oh, look at that. And we are nearly through. What a battle this is. Into third place. Oh, I've just bumped into the Renault. The Renault's got to go in the pits anyway. Battling with the Renault, who is... Is he going in the pits or is, is he carrying on? Oh, he's carrying on. Why? Once everybody's been in the pits, then... It Verstappen will be fourth, I'll be third. Chasing after Bottas now. I can't believe there's still some people who are staying out. The track is drying out now. I've still got a lot of grip. Hamilton's not far ahead. We are extremely racy. But am I using all the grip on my car or on my tyres already? My tyre wear is going to be through the roof because I am really racy while the others seem to be just pacing themselves, trying to save their tyres. I am pushing this so much now. I am pushing the car and we're into second place. It's time for Hamilton. Can we get first now? Can we get into first place? Bottas is trying to come back at us, but these tyres at the moment are just fantastic. You know what, I'm actually bringing Bottas with me. I'm catching Hamilton slightly, but I'm bringing Bottas. And Verstappen is coming as well. This race is nowhere near finished. Hamilton did fantastically to get into the lead, but he's being hunted down by myself and Bottas and Verstappen now. Come on, can I catch him? I need to get a really good line out of this corner, and I have. Oh, it's a little bit wide. I don't think it's affecting me too much. Oh, that was a terrible line in the corner. I've lost a bit of time there. 
lost a little bit of time. Bottas is falling back though. Are his tyres struggling? Or is he, is he holding back? Is he going to have another attack at me later? I really have pushed the tyres too much, I think. I have set the fastest lap. I don't know if the Mercedes are holding back, why would they though? Or is my car just in a better... Is, it, is my car in better condition at the moment? I know it's managed to switch the tyres on quite quick. And it's worked fantastically. They were better on the wets, they were. The intermediates didn't seem to have suited them as much. Oh, this reminds me of Jensen Button catching Sebastian Vettel in the Canadian Grand Prix and then winning that race. We're not actually at the end of the race though. Can I get Hamilton before then? I think I need to. These tyres aren't feeling as great as they were. I've got to get it past him before then. At least I could defend. Oh, come on. I need to get into DRS range. Oh, look at me. I'm right behind him. I'm right behind Lewis Hamilton now. I should be able to get DRS on him if I can't overtake him round here. I've done a few overtakes on this corner and on the one after it. Oh, I've gone wide, but it hasn't actually affected me too much. Oh, I'm right up his backside. I'm putting Lewis under pressure. He hasn't had this for a while. I'm, I'm a de yeah, I've definitely got DRS on him, I think. I'm going to get him on the start straight if I can. I need to get a really good line out of the corner. If I can get a good line, stay with him. Stay right there, get the... Actually, why am I talking about DRS? There is no DRS because it's raining. I have lost the plot. But I don't need to rely on DRS because I still managed to get him. That's a good old-fashioned overtake. My teammate has moved up two positions. Well done, Nabuharu. Well done. Great, great performance by you. Fantastic, you haven't finished in last place. We're going to have to have a word with Nabuharu. He seems to be struggling quite a lot recently. He had quite a few decent races to begin with, and he started improving, but now he's gone down again. Meanwhile, look at this for a battle. Alburn having a battle against the Renaults. And he seems to have won that little battle there. Vettel is not going to catch his teammate. His teammate's definitely going to get fourth, I think. Fifth, sorry. Verstappen's in fourth. Oh my god, look at this. Look how close it is. I have managed to get into first place, but I am not pulling away from Lewis Hamilton. My tyres seem to be going on me now, while Lewis's have switched on all of a sudden.
can I win this race? I've got to make sure I don't make any mistakes. The track is literally dry now. There's a few damp places. And Hamilton is catching me. Oh, this is crazy. This isn't good. Leave me alone, Lewis. Go away. Bottas. He's dropped back a little bit, but... I don't know. I think he might catch me. If I, if I screw up, I could end up coming in. I could end up finishing third or fourth. I've got to keep Hamilton behind me. Hamilton is really feisty going into the final few corners. Come on, make it the second win. Our second win in a row. We're nearly there. This is ever so close. Hamilton is so close to making a move on us. Oh, is, is he going to do it? No, I'm still in first. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. We're coming round final corner. And we have... We've done it. We've won again. Hamilton second, Bottas third. What a crazy wet race. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. So Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well Crofty, this was won through an abundance of speed and an abundance of skillful overtakes. Inside, outside, cutting underneath, we saw it all today. And it's really nice to see a Grand Prix won in that manner. A race, surely, that will satisfy the purists today, I think. Well, I'm thoroughly exhausted after the excitement of that race, but I'm sure it's nothing compared to our drivers here. They've worked hard to make it up there, and it's great to see them make their way out onto the podium. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? I'm going to give it to the owner-driver today. There was a lot going on all down the field, but they were the only one who I really felt maximised their potential. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from the owner-driver's team this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. That was a crazy race. Look at those positions. He was actually close at the front. It's the rest of it. Got sp it got spread out, didn't it? Lance Stroll, I was disappointed after his great race, the last one. He did well in Canada. Perez, he did really well. Vettel again finished behind his teammate. Albon this time switched with Verstappen. Ricardo's done all right. Carlos Sainz ain't done too bad. Raikkonen did a really good job. I have been watching his performances recently in the Alfa Romeo in a very bad car. Alfa Romeo, or what like possibly second worst car, and he's been driving quite well. He's impressing me, so I'm I am keeping an eye on him. Because if he keeps it up, I might actually sign him. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. You really cut your way through the field today. What was your strategy? Strategy.
No idea. Just click, just pick any of them, really, innit? I wasn't in control at the start at all. I was quite nervous. It was too wet for me. It was when the track dried out that I really started to enjoy it. It was very close with Charles at the beginning of the race. Really enjoyed it. The weather did affect us. Really did. I don't know how much different it would have been if the track was dry. We beat you on this one, Leclerc. And again, we beat you, Nobuharu. Of course we did. Okay, we didn't earn too much this time, but we earned enough. Continue to increase our acclaim, more potential partners become willing to. Oh, let's have a look at it, I think. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate tab. Oh, can we upgrade? Nothing. Absolutely bloody nothing. That's great. Oh well. Maybe the next race we can upgrade some it. Okay. Wait, waiting for our things to be upgraded. It's going to take a while. Oh, we can have another sponsor. Let's have three sponsors paying for everything. That will definitely help us financially. Let's add our other sponsors. A chibi. I like the colour, really do. I might darken the blue slightly for next season. Probably change the black to a different colour. But we'll see. I've only added the black though because of Mercedes being the car, the team that's giving us the engines. So we're going with their black colour. I would have gone blue and silver, but. Mercedes and black in this team aren't in this uh, this year. Right, as you can see, we are still in third place. We've now won two on the track with the fastest lap twice. Bottas and Hamilton have switched. Well, position-wise, Nabuharu useless.